Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So, I, I guess that's it. So, I guess we should just get to it. Yeah? <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Scorpio. Happy birthday. It is officially Scorpio season at the time that I am recording this. Um, happy birthday to you guys. Welcome to your reading for the month of November. I hope you guys are having a good time. You're doing well. Things are going well for you. Um, yeah. So... Let's get straight into it, Scorpio. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, let's give this a shuffle and see what we've got for you. I'm seeing a bit of light blue. Uh, some of you might be, and I'm feeling communication. So communication might be a thing for you this month. Um, you might be, you know, wanting to communicate with someone um, that you've been dealing with for a while. There could be some, like, hashing out. I'm hearing hashing it out. Some of you could be you know, either thinking about or making moves to uh, reconcile with someone, um, squash something with someone. Um, uh, communication is also, some, that may, I'm picking up an energy of maybe some sort of like public speaking event. Uh, if you are, uh, if you are with, if you do anything with like public speaking, you might be doing a lot of events in November or you might be planning things. And I'm seeing green too. Green is your heart chakra. Green is healing. So I definitely think there's going to be, a, there's an energy of um, reconnecting with someone and communicating with them, possibly after a long time, possibly after having some sort of distance between each other, whether that be just um, relationship wise, like you distance yourself from each other or you were actually at a physical distance, um, reconnecting with some people, maybe some family or friends. I mean, we are going into Thanksgiving uh, and the end of the month, so. But I really feel like this is more about reconciliation and reconnection for a lot of you, okay? Heart chakra opening, heart chakra, heart, excuse me, heart chakra cleansing and healing, that kind of thing putting old um, quarrels to rest, too. All right, Scorpio, one more shuffle for you. Excellent. So let's cut the deck here and see what we've got for you. 
Yes. All right, Scorpio. Overall energy. We have got the king. I'm sorry, the queen of cups. So here you are. Okay. This could be you. This could be another water sign. I feel like this is you, though. Um, very intuitive. And what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups here is that you're really, you could really be looking in, looking deeper into your emotions about something. Especially since we're in your season right now, things are very watery. So um, anyone that is that has water. Uh, strongly placed in their chart is really feeling their emotions right now for you what i'm getting with the queen of cups because the queen to me the queen of cups is someone that um understands her emotions knows what they are but she doesn't really necessarily share them with anybody um and personally for me the queen of cups is more of a cancer energy whereas the king of cups is you officially other than you know uh the death card um so you could be dealing with a cancer also, you could have cancer in your chart. I'm just getting that some some of you may really be up in your emotions about something, but it's not. You're not necessarily sharing it. I'm getting that you're just you're analyzing them. You're getting to the you're getting to the bottom of them. You're trying to understand them better. Okay. We do have the three of three of swords, the wheel of fortune, and strength here. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, you could have Leo, I'm hearing strong fire placement in your chart. That's entirely possible. Um, but this is exactly what I was talking about here with in the beginning with this sort of, some sort of reconciliation type energy with the Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. I really feel like there really could be some sort of communication for you guys uh, in November that really helps you to squash something, really puts an end to whatever this three of, three of Swords heartbreak situation is, really changes things, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, there's, there's change coming, cycles ending, um, karmic cycles ending as well. Um, and I really feel like you could be, it's, it's possible, it's very possible, especially with strength here, it's very possible that you could be initiating some sort of conversation, some sort of reconciliation, some sort of squashing of, um, of old situations, but that would come about because of the fact that you might, you're most likely on the, in the mindset of understanding your emotions better, understanding your reactions to a, situ a certain situation better. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups here. If you don't, if you don't initiate this situation, um, there is a, there is an abundance of strength here at your disposal to help you get through the situation, help you get through that talk, help you face this situation head on. Okay. Now this doesn't have to be. Um, you don't have to be reconciling with someone in order for this to be happening. You could just be coming to an end, a close of a karmic cycle through understanding the situation on a deeper level emotionally, okay? For some of you, there is a cancer individual. There is a person who is of cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever, um, that you've been associating with. I'm getting strong cancer from the Queen of Cups there. All right, so let's, let's let's see what's in the first half of your month here. Excuse me. First set of current energies for you, Scorpio. We have the Eight of Cups. All right, so moving away from conflict is the first thing that I heard here. This could either be leaving the past behind and starting anew, starting afresh with someone, or just leaving the situation as a whole, okay? Could also be, because this, keep in mind, this is a general reading, this could also be someone potentially moving away from you, leaving the situation behind. We've got the Page of Wands. And to me, the Page of Wands is very much about self-discovery here, okay? So either you, Scorpio, or someone else could be leaving the past, leaving a situation behind in uh, because of a new sense of self-discovery that has come about. You could be, someone could be really putting the past behind and opening up communication because of, Again, self-discovery or some sort of inspiration, okay? There could be some sort of passionate message that comes through also. Fiery, passionate message. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo here. We have uh, strength underneath the deck, but then we also have the Page of Wands here. So you could be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign. But there could be some sort of passionate message that comes through for you uh, that helps you 
leave the path, past, leave the conflict behind in some way, or just move forward away from conflict, whether you're con reconciling with this person or not, okay? And it could be a situation. It doesn't have to be like a romantic partner or anything. It could be a friend, a job, a family member, whatever, okay? However that resonates for you. This is a general reading. Second set of current energies, or second set of surrounding energies, I should say, for the first half of your month, you have... The Nine of Pentacles, autonomy, independence, freedom, okay? Um, and I'm getting an energy of really being burdenless. I'm feeling like whatever you're in the process of walking away from, um, this could really be freeing for you. I really feel an energy of just being free, being able to breathe again in, in, some, in, a, in a way. Autonomous, having your independence, having your freedom unchecked, not unchecked, um, unquestioned, uh, unchallenged, there we go, okay, Nine of Pentacles is coupled with justice, yes, you see, freedom, justice is, bring, is brought to the situation, and that allows you to be more independent, to be on your own. Have a, I'm hearing a fresh new start, but it's not like you're starting over. You're just starting from a new position and you're freer, you are independent. Some of you could be leaving, leaving a relationship. Literally, some of you could be coming single. Could be becoming single, excuse me. Um, now, now, you could either be the queen of cups in the sense that you have a deeper understanding of something, there was some sort of heartbreak and betrayal, and now that karmic cycle is coming to an end. And because that karmic cycle that and that karmic cycle is coming to an end, because you have learned more about yourself, you have a uh, you have a better understanding of yourself or the situation, and now something is inspiring you to walk away. And here is that justice that comes of it. So, it, or vice versa, you could be walking away from a Queen of Cups individual, whether that be a water sign or not. That the, 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 the sign isn't important. You could be dealing with a Libra here also because we do have justice. Now, the other thing that could be going on here is if this is not a water sign that you're dealing with, um, the Queen of Cups to me is just stating that somebody, whoever is walking away here, whoever is moving away from conflict, whatever that looks like for you, whoever is walking away from conflict is doing it because of a deeper understanding on an emotional level, okay? You may even be looking back at this past heartbreak with, represented by the Three of Swords and are like, oh, wow, maybe that wasn't as bad as I thought it was at the time. Or, wow, I understand why that happened now. And either one of those avenues could lead, lead, the, way, lead the way towards some sort of reconciliation for you guys. And that really feels great. It re it, I swear, it feels incredibly relieving, whatever is happening for you in this, this month, okay? Your challenge for the first half of the month, Scorpio, we've got the Two of Swords. There's still some indecisiveness here. Now, this could be the other person. Okay, so so I'm getting that the other person, whoever is not necessarily seeing things differently, um, is not understanding things on a deeper emotional level, could be in this Two of Swords energy of not necessarily wanting, not really wanting to see the situation clearer. This also could be a past energy, the challenge from the past that has been carrying over. So this could be this could be the challenge. So going into November for you, Scorpio, these are the these are the surrounding energies. That doesn't necessarily mean that um, this is exactly what you are expressing, but these are the energies around you. So this could be why you some of you may still be in either you, Scorpio, or someone else that is associated with associated with you, could be in this indecisive two of swords energy, still in this mindset of not wanting to see things differently, not wanting to see the bigger picture, um, ref just basically refusing to say to see something, refusing to make a decision, in a sense, because um, decision is more two of wands. But the two of swords is like being blindfolded, but often it's self-imposement, like, like blindfolding yourself, refusing to see something, okay? Two of swords is coupled with the page of cups. This, the page of cups, is an apology. Could be another water sign. But right now, what this is saying in, the, in context, this is the apology. 
Either someone doesn't want to apologize or someone doesn't want to accept an, an apology. And I feel like there are some Scorpios out there that have really come to a deeper understanding of a situation or even themselves and are ready to apologize and someone's being stubborn and, and refusing to accept it. And if that's the case, if you're genuine, like... I wouldn't say, you know, if they don't want to accept your apology right, right, right then and there, then walk the hell away. No. They may need some time to accept, to even accept the fact that you are trying to come here and apologize, okay? And also, this could be you, Scorpio. I mean, keep in mind, this is a general meeting, reading, guys. The energies could go back and forth, can, can land in either direction. But someone, I really feel a strong energy of someone kind of refusing to apologize or refusing to accept an apology. And if you are genuine, I would say give this person some time, give this situation some time to adjust before you get to a point where they're now still not accepting your apology and you just got to walk away. Okay? At that point, ultimately, you did what you had to do. It's on them whether they want to accept it or not. And if they don't want to accept it, that's fine. And that's that energy that I was getting of, you don't necessarily have to be reconciling with this person, but there is something happening here in which um, you have come to a deeper understanding and now the karmic cycle is coming to an end, okay? Potential outcome for the first half of the month, there's that reconciliation, the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is coupled with the Five of Swords. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I'm, I've never seen it this way, but the Five of Swords to me is saying Scorpio energy. So it could have been that, because the, the, I mean, Scorpio's, Scorpion has a stinger. And I'm not going to say that all Scorpios with their stingers are justified with how they use it, all right? So that definitely could be Scorpio energy. I, there, I mean, there have been some people in my life in the past who, he was a Scorpio, actually I dated him. He was a, He's an ex-boyfriend and he was a Scorpio and... I mean, he was just stinging left and right. But that's because he had his own pain, his own drama to deal with. So, okay, that makes sense. But here we have the reconciliation after this Five of Swords energy, after this self-defeating energy. Could also be... Now, it's not all rainbows and gumdrops here, guys. Because it could also be someone is trying to reconcile and someone is still not having it. Okay? Okay. Like, energies of reconciliation are on the table here, but someone is still not having it. And to be quite honest, if this isn't the Scorpio that's putting forth this Five of Swords energy, and, the, uh, and it's the other person, the other person is kind of like, it's kind of like the other person is now doing the exact same thing they got mad at you for. Could be for any, any reason, to be quite honest. It really could be for any reason. And actually, I'm feeling an energy of, yeah, it, I mean, I could kind of understand that at this point, mainly because of what happened, okay? But at the same time, number one, I never recommend fighting fire with fire. Number two, how are you going to go, how are you going to turn around and do the exact same thing you got so damn mad at me for? Like, that is something I never understood. <laughs> All right, let's get into the second half of your month here. First set of surrounding energies for the second half of November for you, Scorpio. We've got the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Hmm. Fear is what I'm hearing. The devil is coupled with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries, too. The devil and the emperor. My, my, is that an icky combination. Because to me, the devil and the emperor is extreme ego, narcissism, manipulation. Now, I also did hear fear. So there could be extreme guardedness here is what I'm kind of picking up on between the devil and the emperor. Someone is really afraid of something. It could be reconciliation with you. It could be this, whatever this reconciliation is. And that's funny because when the devil came out, one of the first things I thought of was this is fear around reconciliation to a certain extent. And this is coming from wanting to maintain control over their lives and their situation. You, either you, Scorpio, or someone else did this to you, but I feel like someone really got hurt. Someone really got burned here in a certain, in a situation with somebody. And, um, 
now they're taking control and they are absolutely not letting you in. They could see you as the devil. You could see them as the devil. There could be, um, there also could be a blockage. The emperor here could be holding the devil energy at bay saying, absolutely not. You cannot come in here. And so for some people, there may be, maybe there may not be any sort of really, any real reconciliation here because of someone just does not want to let you back in for their own reasons. They could be justified. They could, they may not be justified, but either way, someone is taking control of the situation of their circumstances and is either doing it out of fear with the devil or is keeping the devil energy at bay. Toxicity. A hard no to, to toxicity moving forward. Now also, instead of saying no to toxicity with the, the devil and the emperor, this could be toxic masculine energy, twisted masculine energy, extreme control, extreme narcissism, egotism. This is, this is where someone could be coming from, from that sort of place, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, we have temperance, Sagittarius, balance. Patience. I'm already getting that if you really want to reconcile with this person or with this, if you really want reconciliation to come to this situation, you're going to need some serious patience because the universe is on your, is working on behalf of the individuals here to balance out the situation. And I, I want you, and look here, we're talking about balance. Temperance is falling right under justice in your second half of the month. So there's a lot of balancing happening for you this month, Scorpio. Okay. The temperance is coupled with ah, the Four of Cups. Well, see, there you go. There's the rejection. See, you had the Three of Cups here. Reconciliation, or at least wanting reconciliation. But then there's too much conf conflict, one-upmanship, shit-starter energy for that reconciliation to really take hold, right? Well, now here you go, the Four of Cups. So most likely, reconciliation is going to be rejected. But the universe is saying to you, no, hold on, it's not over. Let us work something out a little bit on your behalf. Just take it easy. Fall back a little. Let time pass by a little bit, okay? Let, let time do some healing for you. I mean, you've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Someone is heartbroken. Someone was cheated, backstabbed, lied to, whatever. It could be any situation in which Three of Swords energy would be invoked. And someone is keeping to themselves, to, to themselves about it with the Queen of Cups. It's definitely all up in their feelings, but it's also someone is coming to a greater understanding of what this situation really means. And so yeah, now with that, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is divine timing. Temperance, patience, divine timing, okay? Let, I'm really hearing, let the universe work on your behalf here. <laughs> behind the scenes, okay? Your challenge for the second half of the month, the King of Wands. Wanting to move forward. You could be dealing with a fire sign or you could have fire in your chart. But the King of Wands here is really talking about wanting to move forward, okay? Wanting to just get the show on the road. And you see how the King of, the King of Wands is sitting here staring right at Temperance and the Four of Cups. And it almost looks like he's like he's like waiting with bated breath, like waiting for that moment for him to make a move, for waiting for that moment for the universe to be like, okay, go, and he takes off right in the direction that he wants to go in, right after what he is he's looking for. The King of Wands is coupled with, there it is. You see, I told you guys the fool. The challenge is wanting to start over, wanting to start anew, wanting to have a fresh new beginning, but not basically being held back by the universe, in a sense, okay? The potential outcome for the second half of the month, Scorpio, we've got Eight of Pentacles, hard work, devotion. You could be immersing yourself in work in order to pass the time. I'm also seeing putting hard work into rebuilding a relationship with somebody, okay? Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the Hermit, Virgo. Also, though, you could be doing a lot. Now, this talks to a lot of the hard, the hard work of 
um, going within, finding deeper meaning, finding your inner light and letting it shine. And like I said here with the Queen of Cups, it really feels like someone is coming to an emotional, a deeper emotional understanding. Well, if that isn't where you are in the beginning of the month, the situation at hand could be that you spend the energy, the time in this month finding this inner light, finding this deeper understanding. Okay? There is a lot of major arcana in your spread here, Scorpio. So there is a lot of spiritual cycles. There's a lot of spiritual help, a lot of universal help here for you. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight major arcana in your in your in your reading here. All right. So let's get some oracle guidance from the unicorns here. Let's see what the unicorns have to say for your month of uh, not October, November. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Let's see what the unicorns, unicorns have for you. November 2018, Scorpio. November 2018, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. November 2018. Best messages for Scorpio for the month. There you go. Anger. Ooh-wee. All right. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Now, if you can't really move forward towards someone, then the action to take would be finding, doing this inner work, finding this inner light, okay? But then you also have anger here. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. This could be you for, for you, Scorpio, or this could be for the cross watcher here. And I really feel like this is a lot, this is some good advice for whoever is stuck in the Five of Swords energy, whoever is all, all up in their emotions because of the Three of Swords. Use that as fuel to propel you forward. Use it constructively. Use it create, creativity, creatively, excuse me. Okay? But whatever you're feeling, Scorpio, Cross Watcher, whatever, whatever you're feeling, use it wisely. Don't stifle it. Feel it. Feel it with intentions of releasing and healing, okay? All right, Scorpio. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy birthday to you guys. I hope you have a great birthday season and a great November and a very, very fantastic Thanksgiving for those of us in the United States, yeah? Much love to you guys, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of December. Oh, my goodness. The year is almost over, guys. So sorry about that noise from the street, but the year is almost over, guys. <laughs> All right, much love. Take care. Mwah! Bye.